Hello and welcome back everyone to today's video about Golang Generics. One of the most exciting features of Go is the recent addition of Generics. Generics in Go allow developers to write functions and data structures that can work with a wide variety of types without having to write separate functions for each type. This makes it easier for us to write reusable and modular code and reduces the amount of boilerplate code we might have to write. Let's take a look at what life was like before the introduction of Generics and then let's see how Generics solved that problem. Let's kick this off by creating a struct called human and a struct called employee. The human struct has a name and age and the employee struct has human ID department and salary. The reason why human is written underneath employee means that it's embedded into the employee struct. And that means that the employee struct now has access to all the methods and properties that the human struct had. So employee by inheriting the properties of human has name and age as well. Now let's say that both of these both humans and employees have a method on them called introduce. The way that we add that is like this. So we just say function h human introduce string, and then we say func e employee introduce string, right? The, the string is what we're returning. This on the left hand side, this h human means that we're extending human, e employee means we're extending employee. And we know now that both of these structs have a method on them called introduce. So what if we wanted to write a function that takes in a slice of humans or employees and returns a slice of a result of all of their introductions? Well, the way that we could write that is by writing a function that first says human introductions and takes in a list of people which are of type human and then we get a result back and then we do the same for employees. But like I said, we'd have to write two separate functions. What if we just wanted to write one function that did it all? Well, for that, we're going to use generics. So here I'm going to put down some code. The introductions function takes in a slice of any type T that satisfies the humanish interface. The humanish interface down below shows that it is applied to anything that has an introduce method on it and returns a string. The function introductions then iterates over the slice and calls the introduce method on each object. We can then use this function to get the introductions of both human and employee objects. So now with this example, we don't need to declare two separate functions just to loop over a bunch of people that have introductions or introduce as a method, but instead we can leverage interfaces, like we made this interface called humanish, and we can also leverage generics, this t humanish thing, so that we can take in any type of method, any type of class or struct that has the introduce method on it. And this makes it so that our code is a lot more reusable. We don't have a lot of boilerplate code and I don't need to keep writing methods for slightly different types, especially if they all share a similar method. And so there you have it, an introduction to generics in Go. Again, just to sort of quickly recap, with generics, developers can write a single function that works with any type that satisfies the specified interface. In our case, we use something called the humanish interface that had a method called introduce that said, hey, when you when any type has the introduce method, it belongs to this interface called humanish. And then we use that humanish uh, interface uh, as a generic so that we don't have to write multiple functions just because there's a slight difference in our types.